To get started filing an online application for SNAP benefits, please visit the following site, www.dcfs.louisiana.gov slash page slash get dash SNAP. If you have any questions, you can call 1-888-524-3578 or email lahelpu.dcfs at la.gov. Please look under the SNAP column and find the following documentation prior to starting your application. Please feel free to stop or pause the screen at any time to follow along with your online application. Upon visiting the site, please click the How to Apply for SNAP box. On the next page, please click the Fill out an application online link. On the next page, please select New Applications. If you are a returning user, please enter both your social security number and your date of birth at the bottom of the page. On the next page, you will be required to log in or create a new account. On the next page, the DCFS lists out a number of functions you will have once the account is created. On the next page, you will be required to enter your personal information, a user ID, password, and PIN. Please save this information for future reference. Upon completing this step, you will be redirected to myla.gov. You will be required to create a username, password, and PIN. Please keep in mind you can use the same username from the other site. Also, please make sure to store this information for future reference. Prior to logging in, you will need to verify your email address. Upon logging in, you will be taken to the following site. Please read over the information carefully and check the bottom box. Upon logging in, you will be taken to My Account page. Please click on My Applications. On the next page, please click Submit an Application for Benefits slash Services. On the next page, the DCFS will give detailed information as it relates to benefits and services. Please read over carefully. Also, please keep in mind you can pause the screen to follow along with your application. On the next page, please click the top option to apply for SNAP benefits. On the next page, the DCFS gives detailed information as it relates to the application. Please read over and click the checkbox at the bottom. On the following page, please read over and click all that apply. On the next page, you will be asked personal information, such as your name, telephone number, home address, mailing address. You will also be asked if you would like to register to vote. You do not need to say yes in order to receive benefits. On the next page, you will be required to review your personal information. In the next section, you will be required to answer information about family members. Please keep in mind multiple family members may apply for SNAP benefits as long as they fit the eligibility requirements. For example, if you are 21 years old living with your mother who receives benefits but only shops and prepares meals for your younger siblings and you are still required to prepare meals separately for yourself, you will be eligible and should apply for SNAP benefits. In the next section, you will be asked about foster care and disabilities. Please check all that apply. In the next section, you will be asked about convictions, probation, out-of-state benefits, student training, and other information. Please select all that apply. The next section focuses on job income information. Please select all that apply. In the next section, you will be required to answer information about your employment, including payment and income. Please select all that apply. In the next section, you will be required to answer any information about money from other sources. Please select all that apply. In the next section, you will be required to answer information as it relates to housing, billing, and housing assistance. Please select all that apply. In the next few sections, you will be required to answer information about your household bills, including amount paid and also to whom the actual payment was made. In the next section, you will be required to answer information about any court-ordered child support payments. Please select all that apply. In the next section, you will be required to answer any information about liquid resources, including cash on hand, checking accounts, or savings accounts. In the final section of the application, you will be given information as it relates to Medicaid. You will also be given information as to what are the next steps that will be taken from the office. Please read over carefully and click Submit. Once your application is submitted, you will be assigned a worker. You will be interviewed via phone, so pay close attention to your phone calls. 
You will also receive a list of verification that is required. Your worker will determine your eligibility within 30 days of your application. You will then receive a letter that will tell you if you are eligible or not. If you are eligible, benefits may be paid back to the date of your application. Please check your phone, mail, and email during this waiting time. Lastly, you will need to recertify your benefits. After you have received benefits for a while, you will need to recertify to make sure you are still eligible. Please contact your caseworker for guidance, as these recertification processes may be once a month or maybe once a year. Contact your caseworker to learn when you will need to recertify.